origami. Google defines it as the Japanese art of folding paper into decorative shapes and figures. But what Google won't tell you from a simple three-word search is that origami is far more than just that. I know you're probably thinking of the cute boats and cranes and fortune tellers made back in elementary school, but origami is a technique that itself pushes the boundaries of scientific capabilities. Origami is creative, it is angular, it is geometrical, and it is insanely mathematical in ways that are difficult to understand without a strong background in mathematics, something many professional origamists have. When looked at briefly, origami appears to be mainly figurative in form. You can make deer and spaceships and sharks and lightsabers. Anything you can think of can be represented in folded paper terms. There is, however, another side to the origami die, one that reveals the truly geometric nature of what appears to be a simple art form. Geometric origami is shown in patterns known as tessellations. In modulars, models built up of sometimes hundreds of individual pieces held together only by friction in the designer's ingenuity. This quickly emerging art form is able to be applied to things far greater than a piece of paper. Geometric origami is used in many different fields of science, including space transportation, medical support, and car safety, among others. First off is the Vera Orofold. It is used a lot to fold maps, as it can easily be folded and unfolded by pulling on two opposite corners, like this. Japanese scientists made use of this fold in 1995 in order to take a large piece and make it much more compact. The equipment being compacted was a solar power array that needed to fit into a space flight unit, or SFU for short, that would then launch the array into space and put it into orbit around the Earth. The array was folded in almost the exact same way as the, as the mirror aura fold on Earth, and then it was unfolded after it had arrived in space. As you can see, this is a great example of taking a popular design from the origami sphere of knowledge and using it to overcome barriers and obstacles in the scientific community. Origami is used in another example of a solar array as well. This one, instead of using the more flat mirror aura design, opts for something that in the origami universe is called a flasher. Flashers are much more tubular and three-dimensional. This one was designed by Jeremy Schaefer, but the solar array was designed by researchers at Brigham Young University, as well as the National Sounds Foundation, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Robert J. Lang, who's an expert in the field of origami. They needed to get a large solar array and put it into orbit around the Earth with very limited space and fuel in a rocket. Using the flasher design, completely folded, the array started out, the array had a diameter of 8.8 .8 feet, while it started out with an original diameter of 82 feet completely unfolded. That is a very large change and it allows for them to fly it up in a rocket. However, it is still just a prototype as it takes a lot of time and money to build something like this. Here's an example of how the flasher array is able to expand and condense. Now that we have adequately covered the medical field, we can move on, or the space industry, we can move on to the medical field. The water bomb base is something I'm sure many of you have folded. In the origami world, a traditional base is a simple folded structure that is able to become many different models. Take the preliminary base, for example. It can be formed into a heart, or a frog, or a crane, and such is the same with the water bomb base. In fact, the two share all of the same creases in crease orientation. One is concave while the other convex, or vice versa, depending on your point of view. The water bomb base itself is able to be tessellated across a plane in order to create something that is quite useful in the medical field when dealing with clogged arteries. And here's what that looks like. This is called a tessellation, and as you can see, it is made up of lots of tiny water bomb bases patterned next to each other to create this. An origami-inspired stent was developed back in, 19, in 2003 by Akiro, by Zong Yu, and Kairi Kiribayashi. You can get a paper version of the stent yourself by taking the tessellation and attaching the two ends to each other to create a tiny tube. A heart stent is a very tiny tube that is inserted into a vein or artery in order to allow for easier blood flow. Once in position, it expands to a greater diameter to allow for the blood to flow easier. These stents are so tiny that it allows for doctors to insert them without having to perform any major surgery. And because of this, people who might have been, might have been affected by larger surgical procedures have a better option. 
The origami self-deployable version of the scent was finished in 2005. Car safety is something that becomes increasingly relevant in a world where all too many people are multitasking while driving. Car safety is something that becomes increasingly re relevant in a world where there are all too many people multitasking while driving. Crumple zones are something that origami uses in order to make much more effective. Akira Argiwara from Japan, in conjunction with Nissan, essentially used origami to make this technique even more effective than it already was. Airbags are also implemented into your car for safety reasons. I bet most of you know what they are. They blow up to absorb the impact of your body flying forward in a collision. But do you know how they are designed, tested, and stored? Testing them by crashing cars and using test dummies can get quite expensive real fast, which is why researchers, which is why Robert J. Lang, the same person who worked on the previously mentioned solar array, was hired by Easy Engineering to create a computer simulation that could e more easily develop and store these, these airbags. The origami inspiration can be seen in this computer simulation devel developed by Easy Engineering with the help of Robert J. Lang. That went by pretty fast, so let's watch it one more time. This saves them a lot of time and money and helps to secure your safety as well as the origami is used in such a way as to make the airbags much more efficient. You may not see it, but the origami is there, quietly used in ways that have had an impact on all of you that drove here today. Origami definitely plays a large role in the area of scientific discoveries and their applications. It also pertains very much to your own life, as it is being used in medical situations and is packed into many of the vehicles that many of you use to come here today. Origami is an ever-growing art form, but it is also a place for scientists and mathematicians alike to seek inspiration from. Without the huge leaps and bounds in the origami community, we likely would not be where we are today. Thank you.